Hi everyone, it's Barry here from Matusa Crafts, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based here in the UK. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Fun Fold Friday video tutorial. Um, as you can see, um, for today's Fun Fold, I'm going to be showing you how to make this card right here. So it is, is a double easel card, and it is going to go like this. Okay, so it's a double easel card, fold flat, nicely for postage and is lovely. Um, I'm going to be using a brand new stamp set as well and dies so which is available from the new mini catalogue. Papers I'm going to be using are, are free of charge from the celebration catalogue as well so if you haven't got your these catalogues yet and you would like one please message us. Details and our email addresses can be found down below as in the descriptions um, and just please please request a catalogue from us okay but the stamp set i'm going to be using is the words of cheer stamp set and the christmas cheer dies so this is them right here and they have got the coordinating dies which go with this and which do all of this lovely lettering you get the innie and the outie lettering in dies and you also get some lovely Happy as well, you get some leaf, you get some stars, you get some circles, the wordings, and you get your leaves as well, and which coordinates with this and this right here. Really, really pretty, loving this set, really, really enjoying playing with it at the moment. So that's what I'm gonna be doing and showing you how to use today. So words of cheer, stamp set, available as a bundle as well. So if you buy them together, you actually save yourself 10% off. So that's all explained inside these catalogs. As I've mentioned already, if you haven't got one already and you would like one, please do message us and we'd be happy to send one out to you. Obviously that's for people who live in the UK, um, France, Germany, Netherlands and Austria. Obviously we do only have um, English versions of the catalogs but we can also send you links to um, the French and the German catalogues as well if you would like those. Um, so great, there we go. So as mentioned, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this double easel card right here. Okay, all the links to the products will be found, or to most of the products, will be found down below at the moment. I will update the links to all the products once they are available for general purchase, which will be next month. So in actually, it doesn't says July, it's actually August. Um, so they will be found down below in the description as well as, as well as any other links we feel you may find useful and interesting. Okay, please remember to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button over here somewhere. Um, if you like what you see, but for now, I'm gonna crack on and I'm gonna show you how you can make your very own double easel card like this. Have fun, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some card stock here. So you're gonna need at least one sheet of A4, okay, and a little bit extra. So you're gonna need one and a little bit extra. I am gonna be working in centimeters for this particular card, um, but I will pop a link or the, um, the inches measurements also down below as well. But for the demonstration, I'm gonna be working in centimeters for this one. So, and this is a obviously a, a European um, style. A4 size card as well. So you're gonna need that, and you're also gonna need yourself some designer series paper. So at least about a six by 12 um, piece of designer series paper you're gonna need. Um, and we're gonna cut this down into panels and use ma use majority of this here. Um, and as I mentioned earlier on, this is also the free designer series paper which you can get during celebration. So this is actually the Peaceful Prints designer series paper. Love the colors on it. So you've got your nice reds and your whites. You've also got yourself, let's have a little look, you've also got on here some cherry cobbler, you've got garden green, real red and Sahara sand and basic black. Really, really nice papers. Let's just show you these quickly. Actually, whilst I've got them here, I'm saying these can be earned free of charge for celebrations. So if you purchase a £45 or more spend during August and September, you can pick these papers free of charge. So as I say, this is the one which I'm going to be using now. So you've got some nice ones here. But I love this. Is obviously, I'm not this, not not so not so nice, but this stripy pattern, and you get two of those. Stripy pattern is absolutely lovely. You've got these gorgeous deers here, and then you've got a nice check pattern right there. Two of those. You get these green. 
and you get green snowflakes or stars, whatever you want to call them. They are there. Some, some green snow. I suppose it's better than the yellow snow. Um, <laughs> green snow, green dots, and Christmas trees on one other side. And I just love the red, red and black and red and white. So I think it's just, oh, I just love it. And you get this one right here. So this red and black check. And look at these, they're just gorgeous. So really, really lovely papers. This is the paper I'm gonna be using today and I'm gonna be using both sides as well. So I'm gonna be utilizing both of them. So that's two pieces which you're gonna need, all right? You would also need yourself some, um, some very vanilla for stamping. Um, I've got myself some of the gold. So this is the new gold. So this is, or, which is available in the catalog, which is the brushed met metallic cardstock. Really, really pretty as well. You've got several types in here. Let's just show you these as well. So you've got a couple of bits of gold in here. So you get two of this color right here. And then you go to more of a, a dark gold. And then you've got what I would say your bright gold, some more of your traditional gold. Right there, so you get two of each and they are available in the new mini catalog as well. Really, really nice. And that's what I'm gonna be using for the wording. So I've got myself a strip right here ready for you for this. All right, and that's pretty much, obviously you're gonna need your basic tools. I've got myself some blends. I've got myself, so I've got, I'm gonna be using some embellishments, some sequins. So I have got myself here, these are the new subtle shimmer sequins. Really, really pretty. So I'll show you those as well. And obviously normal stuff. I've got some blends, got some embellishments, but I will talk you through those as and when I get to them. So good. So as mentioned, I'm gonna be working in centimeters for this. And we're going to be working with your card base to start off with. So with the double easel card, if you're trying to work this out for any size, I'm going to say to you, work in halves. Everything you do needs to be half. Half of this and half of that. So you can quite easily, so whatever your card base is, you halve it, you score it in half and that's that. And then your next bits will always be halved down. So hopefully that will make more sense as and when I, I do this. But first things first, I'm going to cut my... A4 cardstock in half, okay? Which this time is 20, is, sorry, is 10 and a half centimeters. So I've already started in half instantly. So this pit we will be using, okay? And I then need to chop this down to 29.2. Sorry, so 29.2, which isn't this, just what it, this needs to be, which is 11 and a half inches, okay? So I'm just going to start off with that. So remember that was 29.2 centimetres by 10 and a half. And what we want to do is we want to score this in half at 14.6. And then at 7.3, okay, so I'm just going to go on one, one side, we score at 7.3. So that was 14.6 and 7.3. So however you want to, you can either do it 7.3 first and then 14.6, whatever's easiest for you, okay? That's your card base. Pop that to one side. Taking the other piece, we're gonna create a layer which is already 10 and a half centimeters. So I'm just gonna take this to 14.6. And that's gonna be my large, I'm gonna call it my large layer, okay? that one we're going to take another piece here and we're going to create the small base so this is going to be the second easel in there and this needs to be um 5.5 centimeters by 14 okay that bit can go in the in the trash okay and with a small piece you want to score this at let's work this to the correct way around 3.5 centimeters and seven. All right, so this piece here is 14 by 5.5, scored at 3.5, sorry. Yes, sorry, 3.5 and seven centimeters. Okay, so that's your small easel. And then we're gonna then take another piece here, which is measuring at, so this is where this piece will be for your die cutting later on. So we just need another piece here, measuring 5.5 centimeters 
by seven. And that's your small layer, okay? What we can do now is we would also then cut our designer series paper. So we will take this piece right here, so your chosen piece of paper. I'm gonna bring the trimmer in again. And we are going to cut this here at, we're gonna go 10. So first, yeah, I want this one. So I want this side first, so 10 centimeters by 14.1. Okay, that's your first piece. Then you're going to want, you're, you're gonna want two of those, okay? So we're gonna need to go 10 by 14.1. And the second one is gonna be, we're gonna be using the reverse, so we're gonna be using the opposite side for one of them. So one and one, so you'll need those two of those. Remember that's 10 by 14.1 times by two. You also need to have two pieces measuring five by 6.5, and these will be of exactly the same. So I'm gonna use this, this more of the solid color rather than the snowflakes, because it clashed a little bit. So we want this one here measuring five by 6.5, and we want two of those. So that's five. Five by 6.5. And then you'll be left over with a few little bits as well, which you can, I'm sure you can utilize for something else. Okay, so you've got two of those pieces right there. And then you will need a bit of very vanilla. So I've got my bit of very vanilla here and you need this as being, you need to cut a piece out measuring six centimeters by 4.5 centimeters. And that's that. And then we'll do some stamping on this other piece later on. So I will stick those down in a second. But what I want to do first is I want to just do some stamping on my very vanilla so then I allow the black ink to dry before I do some colouring with my stamping blends, okay? So I've got myself Memento. So if you're going to be colouring in um, with stamping blends, you need to have a water-based ink. So that's why I'm using Memento. So I'm just going to ink my pad up, stamp it on here, and then I can let that dry for a moment. There we have it. So I'm just gonna pop that to one side just to dry up for a moment before I do some coloring, okay? Good, so let's bring in these two pieces, these all of the pieces we've just got them prepared. All right, so this and this, so your two largest pieces. So with your largest piece, what you wanna do is you just wanna fold this in on itself and then fold this in on itself. And that has created your easel already. So just do that, fold and burnish those two score lines. And then once you've done that, you can then go ahead and then stick your solid pattern to your green layer like that. Okay, and then once you've done that, you can then go ahead and then stick the other largest one to the base part. So we folded and burnished this one so it's now looking like this, so like a little bit of a tent fold. So we wanna stick this one to the base of that one right there, okay? And that's why I'm using the opposite side with the nice white snowflakes on it. Put those two pieces to one side, and now you just wanna take the other pieces. So this here is just a miniature version of the big card. So fold it in on itself, fold and burnish, and do the same with that one right there. And then you can then go ahead, and then you can then go ahead and stick a solid pattern into this one here. And then you can go ahead and you can stick this piece to this one right here, okay? So 
so there we go so that's those pieces done there like that for you what i'm going to do first is i'm going to prepare my sentiment piece and the same thing i will let that dry whilst i'm just waiting for it um let it to dry before i color in some of the um the greenery so i'm first of all i'm going to pop my sentiment on this all right so i'm using the sending christmas cheer sentiment and i'm just going to pop that in there like that like that there all right so it's a lovely font really nice and clear as well and that's what I'm going to be using. Um, I'm going to also be using the holly pieces down here. And I'm just going to just pop a bit of a post-it note underneath this. And then I'm going to just do some stamping. Like that. So I just need to just protect my table because I'm going to be coming off ever so slightly onto the page. So I'm just going to do... That one there. And then I'll do a little bit coming in there. And let's have a little bit coming in that side there. All right, so I've just created my sentiment. That's going to dry up ready for colouring in a moment. Next thing we want to do is let's do a little bit of colouring now. So this has had plenty of time to dry it up. Um, grab your blends. So I've got myself the blends. I've got myself a real red combo. I've got myself cherry cobbler combo. And I have got myself some shaded spruce combo as well here. So I'm going to colour the flowers in the real red. So I'm going to colour them in, in light first. And then I'm then going to go over and shade them in with a little bit of dark. So just, I'm just going to fast forward this. So real red for the flowers. I'm going to scatter a little bit of cherry cobbler around on the berries and a little bit of the shaded spruce around on the leaves. And then I'll colour in the, the two bits of um, holly leaves right here in the shaded spruce. So I'm just going to fast forward this whilst I colour. And there we have it. So there is my colouring, just some basic colouring with that flower right there. So that's going to be ready for die cutting. But whilst we're going to be doing some die cutting, I'm going to also do some die cutting with my gold metallic foil and my off cut of my green, which I had here as well. So I'm going to be die cutting this one from here, where the trahink is there, so it's that one. And I'm gonna take the outer chair for the green, and I'm gonna take the any chair for the gold. Now it makes sense in a moment once we cut it. All right, so just go ahead and go and cut those parts.
Okay, so they are the pieces. So that was a bit which die cut out those flowers right there. I used the, I call it the Alti Cheer, which is this one, really, really pretty. And then this is the, obviously what was left over for the, uh, which I cut out the letters for the Cheer here in the gold. So you could probably use this if you want to do something else and use it as an inlay for something. It's entirely up to you, but the words are right there. So we've got the C H E E and R. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use a little bit of glue and I'm going to stick these to these letters right here. So what you can do, I'm going to do it on my on my hand. It's just easier, but you can use a silicone sheet if you want to. I'm just going to pop some glue on my hand like that. And then just spread it out a little bit. And then I'm just going to pick each letter up. I'm just going to in like that. And then just a little bit of glue on the back. And then I'm just going to stick each letter to the inner parts. Like that. I just need the spatula just to help me out a little bit. So I'm just going to stick each letter inside like that. And there we have that part ready. So that there I am going to then stick by the side of that, but I will wait for the positioning until I'm ready to actually stick that on. I'm going to do some colouring with the cheer parts right here. So I'm just going to grab my dark shaded spruce and just very quickly just colour in the, the holly pieces right here. Okay, so that's that part. That one can actually now get stuck to the small layer that's now ready to get stuck down onto that one. So just like that. All right, so that's that part complete, ready to get stuck onto this part. So we are ready, we can then pop a bit of glue on this bottom part here and then stick that part to it. And then that's that part complete, apart from then sticking it to the main card. Don't do what I did the very first time when I made this. I noticed quickly I stuck it upside down. So um, just be careful with that. So you've kind of made like a little mini, it's a mini easel card like that. All right, so good. Pop that to one side, let that dry up completely. So now we want to do the decoration part of this. We can Position, actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick this part down first because it will then help me with the positioning of this next part. So all we want to do is we just want to stick some glue on the bottom, on the base part of this now. And stick this in the middle. About so far away from the, from the edge right here. Okay, and just hold that down just to let that dry and set up. And then we will add a stopper onto here as well. So that's why I used a contrast inside as well, so that it then it stood out from the background part. So I used the opposite side again. I love it when you get a bit of designer series paper that you can use to both pieces on one card, both sides on one card, I think is really nice. So good. Right. This here goes on like that. And then we then want to think about the positioning. So we can have that in like that. And then I can then position the chair. So actually I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick this down now. So pop some glue on the back here. And that there is, that's, that's pretty much a very basic double easel card, all right? 
and then we will then stick on some rhinestones down here now the reason i'm not doing a decoration part on the front part here is because i want to get i, I want to make sure that this where this is going to be standing everything's also and then this isn't going to be obstructed so i can then have this in a position so i'm going to be using the gilded gems so i've got a pack here actually let's just let's use up these last little pieces so i've got Three of them here, so I use two larger ones and one smaller. So I go with the smaller one in the middle. So I'm gonna have try it. So I'm setting that up, and that acts as a stopper on the back on that one. I will then position this up so that they roughly are in the same the same angle. And then once I know that they're in the same angle, that's where I will then pop the gem down as a stopper. So I'm gonna go one in the middle, like that. And then I would then use the other two, either side of it. So that's how you create your stopper for your double easel card, all right? Like that. So good. We are gonna be joined by a cat in a moment. So <laughs> Lovely. I have Minnie who is joining me. So if you see a cat does rush across the table, that it will be Minnie you're going to see. So what I'm going to do is I need to pop some dimensionals on the back of all of these. Okay. And some dimensionals on the back of this. Now these are quite thin, so you're going to need to cut some of your dimensionals down so that they can fit on the back there. So I'm just going to go and grab my dimensionals um, and then I'm going to cut them down to one side. Um, if you're wondering why I just made a bit of a noise then. Instead of Minnie jumping on here, she just jumped on my shoulders. Okay, so plenty of dimensionals on the back of this. And then I'm going to then stick this one over like on there like that, okay? So I'm just paying attention to the border side right here. So I'll stick that one on first. And then we're just gonna then snip some of the, the edge parts into smaller strips. So it's quite quite easy. You can just oh, use this out if they don't go flying everywhere. So Okay, so it's a bit fiddly, but there you go. I've got lots of dimensionals cut up. So I'm just going to remove the backs and then stick this on. All right, and then we would then just stick this over to the side right here trying to give myself the same edge and border from the edge and the green over this side here so it all looks the same. Just get that nice and straight. Once we're happy with that, I can stick that down. Like so, there we go. And that's that. Now to finish off, I'm just gonna use a few sequins on here. So that goes like that, that goes like that, all right? And as I mentioned at the beginning, I'm gonna be using some of these new subtle shimmer sequins. So close that down, open this up. And I'm just gonna grab, you if you take your pick tool. So you've got these white ones in here, which are really, really pretty. They're kind of like, almost like a little bit like a vellum. So we can pop some around. So get them in place first, 
and then we can then use a little bit of glue afterwards just to finish them off. So I'm going to go with three of them at the top. So something like around like that. And then I'm going to have one down the bottom down there. And we have one over there. So I'm just going to, all I'm going to do is just with my take your pick tool, just have my glue ready. Chuck the end away. No, you don't. Pick it up and then pop a little bit of glue down where you want it to be. And then you can then stick that back over the top of that. Do the same with the other pieces now. So pick that one up, a little bit of glue where you want it to be. I love our take your pick tool, it's just so handy. And the fact that you can take the two pieces off and then you can then use that to help you position around is, is perfect. It's a really handy tool. So take your pick. And I've lost the end, Never mind. It will turn up. And there we have it. There is today's Fun Fold Friday card using the lovely Wonders of Cheer stamp set with the coordinating Christmas cheer dies. I think these are lovely, really, really good. I think they're going to be so popular, so grab them whilst you can. And remember, if you buy this as well and your order is over £45, you can get these papers free of charge if you purchase from us between August and September. Obviously, you can get this at any time up until January next year, or at least it's, say, the end of December, if stocks permit. But the paper is only going to be available in August and September, and you can get it free of charge once you buy a qualifying order. I love it. It's great. So there is today's fold. Okay, links to everything can be found down below in the description. Obviously, if the links for the stamp sets aren't there just yet because they're not currently available for general release, they will be come August onwards. They will be down below in the description. But links to our online shop can be found down below in the description as well. So if you would like to purchase anything from us and you live in the UK, France, Germany, Netherlands and Austria, you can purchase from us. Please remember to use the current host code as well if you do shop with us because that just allows us to be able to then send you a little thank you card. One of our lovely handmade cards and also allows us to, if you have a qualifying order, um send you a little gift as well and if your order is qualifying at any time throughout the year i think it's 45 pound or more you are a we will send you a free bundle tutorial bundle as well so that is something to have a little look at details can be found over on our website matusucrafts.com um so i just like to say thank you for watching thank you for sticking with us thank you very much for all your comments and your support and your thumbs up hopefully um but yes Please have a go at this. Um, let us share us. Let us know. If you've got any questions, please let us know. Um, email us, barryandj at matusucrafts.com. But until then, I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I will be back with you again next Friday, same time, same place, for another Fun Fold Friday video tutorial. And as you can see, I've just been joined by Suki now, who has decided she wants to now come in and sit in with the card. Perfect timing, Suki, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Lovely and sit on the card all right thank you everyone for watching and i will see you again i said she just decided to sit down in my arms okay thank you all for watching <laughs> see you again very soon bye bye for now bye